And now we've got this, the Astra VXR, which in a hot hatch beauty contest would certainly go home with the tiara. It really is Miss Iceland up against Miss Munich Beer Festival and Miss I've Had All The Pies. And the Astra isn't just a pretty face either. All these cars have turbocharged two-litre engines. They're all the same size and they all weigh about the same as well. But though all the animals are equal, the Vauxhall is more equal than the others. And that's because its engine churns out 240 brake horsepower. That is 20 more than the Renault. It's 40 more than the Golf. As a result, it'll hit 60 in six seconds. And unlike the others, it'll sail way past 150. Makes a good noise as well. So it's the best looking, the fastest, and get this, it's also the cheapest. Not just slightly either, this powerhouse, this road rocket, is a thousand pounds less than the Golf and the Renault. A thousand pounds! There are a few drawbacks, of course. Because of the sloping rear end, our chest of drawers wouldn't fit in the boot. And the stereo navigation trip computer thing is completely unfathomable. And then there's the VXR's really big problem. Putting this much power in a front-wheel drive car has a name. It's called the Chaos Theory. You're asking the front wheels to deal with the steering and 240 rampaging stallions. And you know what? They can't. So, if a butterfly flaps its wings in China, you're going into a tree. <laughs> Just the wheels all over the place. Driving this car is a bit like getting a piggyback off Richard Hammond after he's had a couple of pints of Stella. You don't know what he's going to do next or where he's going. I've got torque steer when I accelerate. I've got understeer when I turn into a bend. And if I lift off, I've got oversteer. Oh, and in case you don't know what torque steer is, let me just show you, OK? Let me just pull up here into first. Hands off the wheel, OK? Just watch the steering wheel here as I accelerate. Turbo comes in and we turn left. And again, left. That is torque steering the car. And it's good if you want to go left. If you see one of these cars burning rubber and slewing round the estate where you live, don't call the police. See, it won't be a yobbo. It'll be your next door neighbour just trying to drive to work. There are many options available for this car, but there's only one it really needs. A straitjacket. 